don't do it don't delete social media and i know it sounds so contradictory because i have a self-development youtube channel and if you're on self-improvement your youtube page is probably all videos that says this is your sign to delete social media or i deleted social media and it changed my life or i deleted social media and you should too so in your mind there's a part of you that's like yeah i want to delete social media and i get it because i've been there i've been that person that constantly compared myself to others on social media that wasted tons of time consuming social media and that just did not feel good in general when you've been scrolling for so many hours and it just gets worse and worse i've seen how social media can ruin my life and i've debated years ago to delete social media but i'm gonna make an argument why you should not delete social media only if you meet this criteria so basically if there's any part of you that is ambitious, that has the desire to be impactful, that wants to be influential and wants to lead people, you need to keep listening. But if you're someone that is content with a chill, average life, like you want to be mediocre, and it's okay if you do, but if you want that and you want to just be part of the system, you might just want to make enough money just to support your family, barely, uh, pay your taxes and retire broke at the age of like 65 you can leave this video and you can actually delete social media because social media won't do you any good if you are a consumer of social media that won't help you it will just make your problems even worse so if that's you delete social media but if you are someone that is visionary that uh, wants to be successful that wants to create a leg legacy and wants to have a mission and purpose in life you need to keep your social media and this video will be specifically for you so you want to keep social media because you will stall your progress if you delete it anyone that you are competing with is on social media and if you delete social media, you are taking away so many opportunities for you to reach a larger audience and you're making yourself literally bottom of the table because those people will make progress faster since they're able to reach more people and connect with more people and make more impact than you. You just have to shift your perspective that instead of being a consumer of social media, you are a producer. Social media is not going anywhere. Do you realize that? Social media is here to stay. There's nothing that's going to stop it. So might as well play that game and play it well and be impactful and have a mission and impact others and make more money. Why not? There are so many reasons why you should be on social media and you should promote yourself. So you want to be on social media because you want to build your personal brand. You want to go on social media because you want to promote your services and how you can help the world and contribute to the world. You want to be on social media because you want to attract a community that you want to be a part of that will help you on this lonely journey of you self-improving. You want to have a deep and profound impact on a large audience and you can achieve that through social media. And if you want to increase more opportunities and attract partnerships and gain more knowledge and be aware of the current affairs and stay relatable, you need to be a producer on social media. Social media is a great tool to leverage yourself, to increase your value. And basically all of this comes out to be about your personal brand. And I realize how important your personal brand is when, first of all, hi, I'm Bianca. I, I always forget to do an introduction, but I don't think they matter as much anymore because really what matters is my message. But if you don't know who I am, my name is Bianca and I am a professional soccer player. So my job is being an athlete. And I realized that if I am an employee, that does not give me any security. And especially in the athletic world, we retire so early. And then what the fuck happens after that? I realize how building your personal brand is literally like investment for your retirement. And 
anyone that is an employee should build their personal brand because that is the only thing that can give you some sort of security. That's the only thing that you can actually control because your personal brand is you. It's your own asset. It's who you are. And regardless if you want one or not, we all have a personal brand. A personal brand is what people say about you when you are not in the room. It's your reputation. And you can have control over that because right now you have a brand. Like people say shit about you. People associate you with certain hobbies, characteristics, qualities, flaws. People have an image of who you are. But you can control that image if you build that personal brand, especially online. And you can reach more people. And more people will talk about you the way that you want to be talked about. There is no security in being an employee. And if you want to make money one day, you need to be able to offer some sort of value that is different than a commodity. And what is the most different thing that you possess? You. You are the most unique thing that exists. You are so unique. But if you don't leverage your assets, who you are, your values, your story, no one will know that. And how can you be paid for the value that you are if you don't even go out there and tell people who you are? You're just no one if you don't try to put yourself out there. I try to urge all of my teammates to build their personal brand because right now we rely on our job to have an income. But once that job is gone, like if we don't build our personal brand, what value do we have? Once I can't kick a soccer ball anymore and I'm too old and crusty to like be an athlete, what is my value? I can build my value by building my personal brand. This is literally what I'm doing right now, talking to you. And I want to talk to people that are not necessarily athletes. I want to talk to people that are ambitious, visionary, that are young and athletic. I want to talk to those people because I relate to those people. And I want you to realize how important it is to build a personal brand. There's literally only one thing that you need to start. One thing. One single thing. Courage. You need the courage to be disliked. Because once you put yourself out there, there are going to be people that hate you. There are going to be people that don't like you. But let me break it to you. People already don't like you. You already have haters. They're just silent. Once you put yourself out there, you will have more people that are more vocal about not liking you. But who the fuck cares? Because you're not focusing on those people. The people that you care about are people that support you. And you will create that community if you put yourself out there. Because there are some people that will relate to your story and will understand you and will want to come in on this journey with you. What do you think you're doing right now with me? I don't think you're a hater of me. And if you are a hater... I mean, haters gonna hate, you're the loser here. But I know that if you resonate with what I say, we're on the same team and you respect me and I respect you and we respect each other and we can push each other. And I fucking love that for us. <laughs> but you need to have the courage to be disliked because it's going to happen. It's going to happen publicly. You're gonna have to face it and face that reality. But at least you're getting somewhere. You're making progress. You're actually reaching the potential that you always thought you had. Your social media... You have to take away this misconception that it's for your friends. Your social media is not for your friends. It's for that target audience that you want to attract. It's for the people you want to help. When I'm posting here, am I posting for the friends that I have or the friends that I had for the people from my high school, for my cousins? No, I'm posting for people like me and you or people that will relate to what I have to say. I'm not posting for anyone else. So the people that hate on me or don't relate to what I say, they're just wasting their breath. They're wasting their time. They're the one that are losing because they're not making progress. They're wasting their time hating on me. But I don't even care about those people because those are not the people that I'm trying to attract. I'm trying to attract people like you that want to take this seriously, that are visionary and want to make an impact on the world. But I'm telling you, you're not going to make that impact if you stay quiet and don't go on social media. You need to use social media to your advantage. You don't have to use all social media. Just use the one that feels authentic to you. I like YouTube because it feels like a long form platform that I can express myself. 
I'm not big on TikTok because it feels too short and not good for your attention span. And I feel like that's a huge problem. And I'm like, I don't want to contribute to that. So I'm very resistant to TikTok. But YouTube feels authentic because I can come here and talk to you. So figure that out for yourself. Which one is it? Is it LinkedIn? Do you want to be extremely professional and start blogging on LinkedIn and build a community there? You can do that. It doesn't have to be Instagram or TikTok. You need to figure out what is holding you back from actually posting. Because chances are, if you were like me, you wanted to delete social media because it felt easier to just delete it and not focus on that. But part of you knows that you would like to have a good following on social media because you know that that will make you make more progress. That will allow you to reach more people. So what is it actually that's holding you back? I think that you might be afraid to be seen trying because you're probably at the beginning of your journey and you don't have a lot of subscribers, you don't have a lot of followers and you're kind of embarrassed to post and be seen trying to have an audience. Everyone that is successful had to start. Everyone that is successful today, all the entrepreneurs, all the innovators had to start where no one cared, where they were judged, where people were holding them back and where when they would have self-doubt about themselves, but they did it anyways because they knew the bigger picture and they knew that it was necessary for them to start, for them to go where they wanted to go. Don't think you're going to be where you want to be just by luck. You need to create that luck. You need to create that luck by taking action, by doing the work, by putting yourself out there and getting out of your comfort zone. So maybe right now you feel motivated. Maybe you're, you're inspired. And you're like, okay, I want to start. I want to start, but what should I do? It's really hard when you actually have the energy and motivation to start, but you're lost and you're like, what the fuck do I even do to start building my personal brand? First of all, you have to stay authentic, okay? Don't try to be anyone else but yourself. People will know when you're trying to be someone you're not. If you're being yourself, you have nothing to lose. Because if you're scared of being yourself online, there's no difference than you being scared of being yourself in person. If you're scared of being yourself online, that means that you're insecure about who you are in person with other people. And that's an issue. You need to figure that out. Why can't you be yourself? What are you so scared of? If you're scared of people judging you, maybe you're not hanging out with the right people. And if you want to be hanging out around the right people, you need to put yourself out there. That's how you attract those type of people. I attract high performing people in my life, visionary people in my life, disciplined people in my life, inspiring people in my life because I put myself out there and I tell the world who I am. They don't just come to me. It's not manifestation where you just have wishful thinking and hopefully they just come like that. You have to take action for you to see the result. One of the concepts that really helped me was when I read this book, Show Your Work. I forget by who, but the concept of show your work is if you don't know what type of content to post, just show what you've been doing because wherever you're starting, someone else is also starting at that spot and you will feel relatable to those people. Sometimes people that are so extremely successful are not relatable because they show what's working for them now at that point. But I wish I could know what they struggled with 10 years ago when they were just starting because that's where I'm at. So you can show your work by simply impacting the people by being one step ahead of them. You don't need to be 10 steps ahead. You only need to be one chapter ahead and teach them what you know now. And that will feel authentic. That will feel valuable. That will feel relatable because it will be so close and real to you. You need to understand how valuable you are. You need to understand that you are unique and you have something to offer, but it comes at a price. You are valuable if you put in the work, if you actually work on yourself, you understand your insecurities, what's holding you back, your traumas, you heal those. And whatever you figure out, you owe it to the world to teach them how you figure that out. And that's how you're going to impact people. 
And along the way, you're going to figure out your purpose. You're going to figure out your mission. My purpose has changed so much throughout my whole self-improvement journey. And now I've never felt so aligned with what I'm doing and my mission. And I can't wait to keep building this community because I know it's working and I'm on the right track, but it would have never worked if I didn't post my first video and stayed consistent with it. So I hope that if you are visionary and ambitious and want to reach your potential, that you will consider building your personal brand by coming online and sharing your story. We need to hear the value that you have. We need to hear what's worked for you because a lot of us are suffering and we need your help. So I hope you feel like you can do it and I hope you feel like you believe in yourself. I believe in you and I know you can do it, okay? I love you so much. I will see you in two days in a new video. And yeah, thank you for watching. Mwah.